behind me is the Stag's Leap Wine Cellars. Back in 1976, during the Judgment of Paris, when both Chateau Montalina and Stag's Leap won the white category and the red category. As of today, 2014 Stag's Leap SLV that I tried about a year ago still maintains to be my, one of my favorite wine. And today, I'm here to taste 2018 SLV, along with some other wines like the Fay and the Artemis. So I'm very excited to give this a try. I don't think I can go inside and show you guys the tour part. However, I can show you the tasting part. So if you guys want to join in for the tour, give them a try and let me know what you guys think. All right? I had SLV before, never the Fay. So let's give it a try, shall we? Yeah. It's medium purple, slightly, ever so slightly see-through, definitely purple. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Mm. Wow. Lots of cherry, lots of plum reduction, cassis, oak, lovely balanced in the background, tobacco, spices. It's not in your face kind of wine, especially from an 18 vintage, because 18 vintage is considered to be one of the best wine. I think I mentioned that a lot during this trip, but. So I was expecting that really powerful, big, punchy wine, but a little alcoholic, but it's okay. But it's definitely meant to be aged. Um, you can drink now, but I think in the cellar at least six, seven years, definitely that's what I would do. And it's a lovely wine. Let's taste it. A little bit more blackberry than fay. Black currant, black cherry, blackberry. Definitely tobacco, oak. Tannins are a lot more stronger. Long, long-lasting finish. Intensity is definitely pronounced. That's a lovely wine. Compared to the fay, I think SLV is definitely more tannic structure for bottle aging. So I would say this can be aged a lot longer than the fay vineyard. If you want to age it for like your kid's 21st birthday, so, you know, 21 years, go for it. This, this is the wine you should age. So Cast 23, their flagship. Let's give it a try, shall we? On the palette, it's a little bit more elegant style versus more punchy on the other two. Blueberry, black cherry, black currants, a little bit of oak, a little bit of tobacco, a little bit of spicy notes. But out of all the three, it's quite floral than the other two, despite it being practically almost half SLV and half Fay. As of right now, it's definitely more floral compared to the other two. It's a lot more elegant style compared to the other two that was a little bit more big and punchy on the SLV and a little bit more fruit forward, red fruit on the Fay. So it's kind of nice mix of both, but I will say if you want to pair your food in the all around wine, Cast 23, SLV if you want that classic big and punchy gravel, dusty Napa Valley wine, SLV. If you want that newer style, fruit forward, red berry style, go for the Fay Vineyard. If I were to choose my favorite, I'm gonna hands down to SLV again, because I love the extra level of minerality, that dusty gravel characteristics I get from SLV. Whereas Cast 23, it kind of covers it up with the Fay, because that red fruit really overpowers the SLVs in my opinion. But I do enjoy Cast 23's, that elegant style, that hidden characteristics of that cassis, the oak. It's, they're all three are extremely well balanced. Oak is present, but lovely in the background. Tenons are big, but it's nice and fine, not as harsh in your palate as it really could be, especially in the 18 vintage. So, that's my conclusion. The SLV still remains to be my favorite. However, Cast 23 and Fay is still pretty darn good to drink. So, I'm gonna ask you guys to stop by Stag's Leap Wine Cellars and give these three lovely wines a try and let me know what you guys think or have you tried any of the Stag's Leap wine in your personal life? I think I failed to mention about food. It's delicious. So the food is actually made by in-house chef. Now to give him a credit, his name is Travis Westro, and these food are very delicious. I loved every bite of it. Each one of them very unique. 
something I wouldn't expect from, especially from like a vineyard to do a tasting with, you know? This is a restaurant quality food. So if you're interested in doing a tour, go for the Celestial tasting and tour because you get to enjoy this food along with the wine, but you also get to see a lovely cellar and a little bit of winemaking process throughout the tour. And I can't show you that in the video, but I can tell you it was fun and you should definitely give it a try. All right? So don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.